Hi everybody, this is Terry from Results Development. Today we will talk about the secret to get better supervisory skills. As you look to grow your supervisory skills, there's a recipe to follow that has proven itself over and over. And this talk will review the basic recipe for growing any new skill, including any new supervisory skill. Now when you take a supervisor training class, you're often shown what effective actions look like. The premise of many supervisor training classes is that if you are shown what to do, you will then take the appropriate action. Beyond what you're taught in class, there is another step to take to set yourself up for better results. And the recipe for improving any skill, whether it be a supervisor skill or otherwise, is included in these following steps. So step number one. Know what you want and why you want it. The basis of this step is to start with the finish in mind. In other words, what should the new outcome look like? Knowing why you want this new outcome brings in the element of personal motivation. If you can see personal value from taking the necessary steps to get the new outcome, you are much more likely to take the steps. So again, identify the new outcomes and through that you increase your personal value and increase your personal motivation. Step number two is to take a personal inventory. After you take a supervisor course, you should know what you need to do differently to improve your supervisor skills. Taking a personal inventory makes a very personalized plan of action on what you need to do differently to align with what you've learned through the course and those new actions. Specifically, what do you need to stop doing that has been your habit to this point? What do you need to start doing? And what do you need to keep doing? This flow of stop, start, and keep applies to both your actions or your behaviors as well as to your thought patterns and your emotions. Step number three is to take a progress check. Taking time to check in on how you're doing with your thoughts, feelings, and actions lets you know where to focus more attention and energy. And as you begin your new supervisor training action plan, check in on a predetermined time frame and make a personal assessment as to how things are going. You might also get feedback from other folks who you trust and who are honest and supportive for you. Stopping in to check also gives you time to recognize your successes as well as celebrate your supervisor skill enhancement progress. Regardless of what outcomes you're looking to improve upon, applying the supervisor skill enhancement recipe will set you up for better outcomes and an easier ride to getting results through your team. If you're interested in learning more about how to improve your supervisor skills, check us out at www.resultsdev.com for both skill assessments so you can gauge where you might want to go to improve your skills, as well as access to high-impact supervisor training programs. Well, that's it for now. Again, this is Terry from resultsdev.com. I appreciate your time today and look forward to uh, checking in with you on our next talk. Take care. Bye-bye.